box. If the little sticker does not say emoji cupcake kit, you're probably looking for another video. So go ahead, head back to our YouTube channel and find the video that's titled as the same as whatever little sticker is on your box. If it says emoji cupcake kit, welcome. It's gonna be a fun time. There are a couple things we gotta go over before we actually start decorating. So number one, you want your cupcakes baked and you want them at least room temperature they can be cool, they can be chill, but they need to at least be room temperature because when you try to decorate really warm cupcakes, it turns into a soupy goopy mess and we don't want a soupy goopy mess today. Not today, not today. Not ruling it out that that might be a vibe one day. And if you've been around before, you've heard me say that a lot, but I'm not ruling it out. But the cupcakes today are not gonna be soupy goopy messes. So we want to have them room temperature uh, or at least cool or really cool just cause they're easier to decorate and less likely to like fall apart and especially the smoothing out part it'll be a lot easier for you if they're colder now if you have not baked your cupcakes go ahead and pause this and then come back and see me when you have if you're not sure how to bake your cupcakes if you go to our youtube channel we do have a video on how to bake your cupcakes or if you go to our website which is mybakestudio.com we also have written directions there too on how to bake your cupcakes so i've got six cupcakes right here uh there are six designs but we'll be doing two two of each design. So just keep that in mind. I'm only going to show you the design, so I'll only be doing one. But just remember, you're doing two of every single cupcake. So you'll have 12 cupcakes. Cool? Sweet. And then the other thing you will need is a butter knife or a cake spatula, um, just because we are gonna smooth some icing out. But if you don't have a cake spatula, don't worry, we show you do it with a butter knife. And if you do have a cake spatula, don't worry, you can use that instead of the butter knife if you'd like. I just know when I first started decorating, I had none of the tools at home and had to do a lot of crafty things. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in case you don't have a cake spatula at home. I will show you with a butter knife. And then I like to have a towel just because I can wipe my knife on it. I can wipe my fingers on it. I can set my open icing bags on it. I just feel like it helps keep our space a little bit more clean. And then lastly, you do wanna make sure that your hands are washed and nice and clean and all that jazz before we actually start like grabbing the cupcakes and putting a bunch of stuff on them. But I think that's it, you guys. Are you excited? I wish I could hear your response if you were excited, but I'm excited. So I'm just gonna reposition a couple things and then we'll go ahead and get going. Alrighty, so the first cupcake design we're going to start with is an emoji face. So I'm going to be doing the sunglasses smiley face emoji, but if you see another emoji smiley face that you like better, feel free to decorate it that way. But I'm gonna show you like the basic of how to like smooth our icing out so we have a nice background. So then we can add our little details like sunglasses and smiley face or eyeballs, if you're doing one with eyeballs, of how to like draw them on there and whatnot. But if you don't wanna do a sunglasses one, that's all right. Whatever emoji feels right for you, but I am gonna show you how to do a super cool sunglass emoji cupcake. So we are going to take our yellow icing, and then I like to bloop, 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 it a little bit before we get going. And then we're gonna take off this part. Now, I recommend squeezing a little bit on your towel first. Yes, it's coming out nice and good. And now I'm just gonna hold it above my cupcake and squeeze some like spaghetti style lines. Ta -da! And then I'm gonna set my icing down. You can either set it on your towel or you can put that little cap back on it. That way it doesn't get all over the place, just in case, just in case. And then I'm gonna take the butter knife. So with the butter knife, I'm not gonna do this. And I'm not gonna do this. We're going to use the flat part of our knife. I'm going to set it like this and then I'm gonna go side to side. But when I go side to side, it's not like a windshield wiper blade. It's more like the very beginning of a pirate ship ride. So I rock it a little bit up and then rock it a little bit up this way, back and forth, back and forth until my cupcake is covered. So it's like the very beginning of the ride before it gets crazy where you're like, okay, this is just a swing. This is just a swing. It's before the part. You don't have to be that dramatic with your, with your butter knife or your cake spatula. But I'm gonna set it in the center and go side to side. Now, if you've got some cupcake shining through, totally fine. Just go ahead and grab your yellow icing and put a little bit more on there. And if that pirate ship method way did not feel comfortable for you, that's okay. Everybody's brains work differently. Different things work for different people. So another way that you could do this is put your butter knife 
in the center of your cupcake and twirl your cupcake around your knife. Whichever one feels better for you. I'm going to go back to my pirate ship way because that's the way I like it. And then you see I've got some excess hanging off. I'm gonna go ahead and use the edge of my knife and just scrape the sides a little bit. And I've still got some cupcake there, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on by sliding it like so, and then smoothing it out again. It doesn't have to be the most perfect pristine cupcake in the world ever, because our emoji face will be covering up a lot of it, but it just gives a good background for what we're doing. Magic! All right, so to do our sunglasses or smiley face, we need our black icing. And then your black icing should be in a tube like this. I accidentally grabbed the wrong one today. So mine's in a bigger thing, but it works the same. It's gonna be the same steps. I just grabbed the wrong one. Oops. But with our black icing, we're going to need to attach a tip to it. So inside your little bag of fun, you have a little tiny ring. It's like a little plastic ring. So I'm just gonna open up my kit baggie and take that out. So it should look like this. So you're gonna open your bag just like we did before for your black, except this time you're also going to grab the number four round tip. It's a tip that we use for writing or drawing or polka dots. Out of your bag, put the little ring over it like this, and then screw it onto the end of your bag. So go ahead and squeeze some out on your towel first before you start decorating on your cupcake. And then you, all you do is just use it to draw. So to make the sunglasses, I'm going to draw a line and then another line. So if you're making up emoji, those could be eyebrows. And then I'm just gonna create little smiley faces attaching my lines. And then I'm gonna fill those in and create a line in between them. You could also do square sunglasses or rectangle sunglasses if you'd rather. And then I'm going to add my smiley face. You can also add a smirk or you could just add a line that's like, like maybe that's how your emoji feels today. I don't know, whatever emoji cupcake feels right for you, but I like the sunglasses one. You could do this one, and then since we're making two of each design, you could totally do a different emoji face too if you wanted. Set my icing there, and then there we go! That's cupcake number one! We're done. Awesome! So go ahead and make your second cupcake. You can pause me. I'll be here when you get back. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to cupcake number two. And since we already have all this out, we're gonna make our sun cupcake. So the first part of the sun cupcake is just like the emoji face we did. You're gonna squeeze yellow icing on there and then smooth it out. Yes! So since we already have it ready, we're gonna go ahead and go back to our black icing. If you took that tip off, the number four, go ahead and put it back on your black icing. And then squeeze a little bit onto your toe. And then for my son's face, I'm going to make two big circles and fill them in. And then I'm going to draw a smiley face because I'm in a smiley mood today. But again, if your son is not in a smiley mood today and you want to give it a different face, go for it. It is your cupcake. You're the one eating them. I want you to be happy with them. So whatever feels right for you. Cupcakes are art that you can eat. So this is some of your art. So feel free to put your own spin on it. Yes. It's just a smiley face. All right. So now I want to add my sun rays, my beams. So inside the little bag of fun, you have yellow and orange chili. So I'm going to take those out. And just rip open the bag. And I'm going to put them all along the edge of the cupcake. Now I like to make a pattern. I like to go orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow all the way around. If you want to do one of your sons with all yellow and your other son with uh, all orange, I hope I said that right, 
Or if you don't want to do a pattern and just put them on there and see what happens, go for it. But I am going to do a pattern. So when I stick them on, I'm not laying them like this. Because I don't want to cover it up. I'm sticking them into this side. So they should be hanging off your cupcake just a little bit. And I'm going to go all the way around like that. Ta-da! Sunshine! So you can leave your sun like this, but I want to give it one more thing. So I'm actually going to go to my white basing. And then kind of like with the yellow, we're not going to do anything to it, but I am going to go over here, squeeze a little bit out. And then this already has a little round circle piece on it. So I'm going to go to each like, I would say corner, but it's a circle and it doesn't have a corner. So this is my eye. I'm going up here and up here. Like a little, it'll make sense when I do it. But I'm just going to put a little dot. Yeah, it just gives us a cute cartoony vibe and I like it. I'm a fan of cartoons, big fan of cartoons but I like it. Now, if yours has a little point that's sticking up, don't worry about it. In about, probably about five minutes, your icing will stiffen up enough because it's been in the air that you will be able to go back and lightly, like very lightly, like, huh, huh, tap those points away so they'll go down and be more round. But if you try to do it right now, it's just gonna keep sticking to your finger and it's it's gonna mess up your eyeballs. So just let it sit for about five minutes and then if these little points are driving you nuts, you can lightly tap them away. But that is it, that's cupcake number two. So go ahead and do your second sun and we're going to move on to cupcake number three, which is going to be a flower. Alrighty, so for our flower emoji, we're going to use our pink icing. So what you're gonna do is go back to your black icing and take off the little ring. Because we're going to need this to attach it to our pink. So inside your bag of fun, you have a number 104, which is a rose tip. It kind of looks like a petal or a teardrop. And we're going to put that on the pink. So how you do that again is you put it in here like so. Open your pink up and then screw this on to the end of it. All right, so I have my tip on my bag and it doesn't matter which way you're holding it as far as if the bigger part of the tip is on this side or this side. The important thing is you want it sideways. This is not a straight up and down method. This is a sideways method. So I'm going to hold it sideways and then I put my tip about in the center of the cupcake and you're gonna draw a U. And then you're gonna draw another U. I think the closer you keep your U together, the easier your petals are gonna be. Like this one, I had them a little further apart. This one, I had them close. So draw and come up all the way around. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and go over this one more time just to give my flower a little bit more definition. But if you like how it looked at first, you don't need to do that. I just wanted to add one more layer so it looks more full. Yeah, I like that. Sweet. Then I'm gonna set the light pink aside and I'm going to go to my yellow. And then the yellow also has that little circle on there. So I'm actually gonna use that for the center of my cupcake. So I'm just gonna make a couple polka dots in the center. So I'm doing like a one, two, stop and lift. One, two, stop and lift. And this time I kinda, well I kinda, I do want the little points for this one. But again, if you don't like them, just let your cupcake sit for five minutes and you can tappy tap tap them away. And it's up to you how many little, little poofs that you wanna add. Um, I actually didn't count. So I've got 10 poofs. But it's just, it's up to you. It depends on what you think looks best. And also depending where you are in the country because we ship all over, your cupcakes might be different sizes than somebody else's because there's high altitude, there's humidity, there's all that kinds of stuff that it can affect if your cupcake is wider, taller, flatter, all that jazz. So 
I'm in the high altitude land. So it, uh, they were a little flat this time, but they're still awesome. Like they still look great, but yours might be a little bit bigger than mine. So you might need a couple more poops or if you're somewhere else and the weather is affecting your cupcakes or just the environment that you're in, um, made them small, you might need less poops. So it's really up to you how many little polka dots you want to put in the center. So it looks cute, right? I think it looks cute, but I'm not done with it yet. So you have a baggie of rainbow sprinkles. Now, if you want to cut this open and dump it into a cup or a little bowl, it's totally fine. I'm going to open mine up and this is going to take a little bit of time, but you are going to grab pink, only pink. Well, personally for me, because I'm trying to make it look like the emoji, I'm only going to grab pink sprinkles. But if you want to take some artistic interpretation and grab some different colors of sprinkles, you totally can. But I'm going to place an individual sprinkle, one sitting single done sprinkle at a time, all the way around my yellow poops. And I'm going to be doing that with pink. But feel free to mix it up if you like. Ta da! I just, I feel like it makes it pop. I really, really like the little sprinkles around it. Also, if you did a different color of sprinkles, what did you do? I want to know. I'm nosy and I like seeing what you do. Like both of those things are true, but I really do like seeing what you guys do because we're like all decorating the same thing, but everybody puts their own spin on it and I like it. So if you'd like to show us whatever kind of emoji face you did, whatever kind of sun face you did, or whatever kind of sprinkle border you put around your flower, or maybe you didn't put a sprinkle border on your flower. Maybe you put sprinkles in your petals instead. Please feel free to send us your pictures. You can send them to us on Facebook, which is My Make Studio, Instagram, which is at My Make Studio, or you can hashtag us with hashtag My Make Studio Kits. It makes everybody's like day in the shop when we see what you guys do. And then I have an excuse to run around the market and shove my phone in front of people's faces. Like, look at this beautiful creation. So feel free to send us stuff, but also if sending pictures isn't your style, no pressure. Don't feel like you have to, it is okay, but we do love seeing what you do. But there we go, yes! I don't, I don't know why I went to smell it, but it smells delicious, it smells like icing. It's my kind of flower. So we're gonna go ahead and move on, and hmm, I think for cupcake number four, we are going to do our interpretation of an emoji unicorn, because I have a unicorn. Of course, of course, if this is your first time with me, you don't know this, but we need a unicorn. Need always, always and forever. So I'm actually gonna wash my hands a little bit because I've got some icing right here that I can feel. And then I will come back and I'll show you how to make a unicorn. So go ahead and finish up your second flower. All right, so for our unicorn, we're actually going to wipe our butter knife off first. So that's what tells you a fool. Make sure there's no yellow on it. And then I'm going to go back to the white icing. And on one side, so not like the whole half, but it could be the whole half if you wanted, but like, like, like a third of it. I'm going to put some lines of icing. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. And now I'm gonna go back over top of them because I want them taller. And I'm gonna go again. And then I think I'm going to go one more time. We just, the more, we want a little bit of height to work with because it makes the face part of our unicorn much easier to do. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple more stripes. So it should kind of look like a funky chair before you start. I'm going to set the white down. I'm going to go to my knife. And then doesn't matter, either one of the edges, we're going to lightly scrape slash pit our icing. So the amount of pressure that you want is like, there's a very nervous cat that you really want to be your friend and it has just decided it's gonna sit in your lap and you're worried you're gonna scare it off, but you're like, I have to touch this cat. So very light amount of pressure, like you are petting a very nervous cat. And I'm going to just scrape my icing because I'm not trying to smooth it down. I'm just trying to hide the fact that it is a bunch of lines. So I'm trying to make it look like one solid, cohesive thing of icing. And you can either like 
wipe this on your towel. I'm actually gonna wipe it on my cupcake because I want more icing to eat. And I'm gonna do that a few more times. And again, it doesn't have to be the smoothest thing ever. You can also lightly feather pet, is what I like to call this one, your icing to smooth it out in certain places. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my knife down. Yes! Alrighty, so now we're going to go to the pink icing and you have one more tip in your little baggie, which is a star tip. I'm gonna pull it out of the bag, so the number 30, unscrew the little ring, take off my flower tip, put my star tip on, squeeze a little bit of it out onto my towel, make sure it's working perfect. Now, on all the parts that are not the white part of, not the white part of the cupcake, you're going to add little poops. So there are a couple of ways you can add little poops. This is going to be our unicorn's hair. Heads up, light pink hair is probably gonna be the next color I do. But you can either hold it a little above your cupcake, squeeze in the same spot, one, two, three, stop and lift for a poof like that. Or you can twist your wrist a little bit. So it's not like a, it's, it's like you've got a wand, like boom, boom, like a flick. And it gives it kind of like a whipped creamy vibe. See, just slightly different. But whichever one you like, go ahead and fill up this whole cupcake with them. I actually like to do a mix of the two. So I will alternate between squeezing and twist of the wrist. But don't worry about the white part of the cupcake yet, yet. Okay, so now we're gonna worry about this part. So, you can do a little couple poofs along the top edge. That way, it doesn't look like our unicorn's got a wig cap on. Like this way, like the hair is connecting to our face. And then you can leave it like this, but I personally like to do a little rosette in the center. So how you do a rosette, I will show you on my hand, but feel free to practice in your practice space, is you make a blob, and then while you're squeezing, you're gonna bring it to the side, keep squeezing and draw a circle around your blob. So you don't have to build it up as much as I did with that one. You can do it a lot smaller. I was just trying to build it up more so I can explain. But blob and then circle around my blob. For a little rosette, I just like that in the center is like a curly bang. It's a personal preference that I like, but that's how you do it if you like it too. And I'm gonna set this down and I'm going to take the little ring off the pink and I'm gonna go back to my black icing with that number four tip and I'm just gonna put the ring back on there. So if you took your tip off, go ahead and put it back on. I left my tip on the end of the bag. It just wasn't secure because the little ring wasn't there. And we're going to use this to draw our eyes. So I'll also use my hand to show you how to draw eyes because you've got a lot of different options. Also, if you're nervous about keeping your eyes even and the same size, I highly recommend getting either the end of your scissors or a toothpick and tr lightly tracing the shape into the white part of your icing where you wanna put them. That way you can use them as a stencil for piping if you're nervous about keeping them even. Which the eyes I'm going to do are little rainbows And then you can leave them like that, or you can add little, little U's to the side of them. For some eyelash action going on. You can also have like a oh, sleepy unicorn. So instead of little rainbows, just do little smiley faces. And then you can leave them like that, or you can add the little C's for eyelashes, or you can also add little lines coming off of them. You can do kind of like we did with our son. You can either do two cute little polka dots like, or you could do two bigger circles and then just like the eyes on our son, put a little white dot in them for more of like the cartoony, like anime chibi style 
of unicorn like kind of thing going on. Or you can have lines like your unicorn's like, mm. you can also have your unicorn winking. You can have a little dot and then a little rainbow eye like, hey. You got lots of options, lots of options. I'm a fan of options. <laughs> but I'm just going to do the little rainbows. And again, if you're nervous, just grab the end of your scissors, like the pointy bit, pointy bit, or a toothpick to lightly trace in your icing to keep them even if you're worried that you're gonna be a bit cattywampus. Which, if that happens to you, I actually kinda like the cattywampus look on unicorns because to me, it looks like they're cocking their head. Like, what are you doing? So I still think it's super cute, even if that happens. Mm. Yeah, she's cute. This is Cupcake the Unicorn. I know that doesn't sound very inventive, but all of the unicorn things I've ever made have very specific names and she legitimately feels like Cupcake the Unicorn to me. She's so cute, she's cute. She's not done yet, she's not done yet. She's getting there, she's getting there, she's getting there. So now, we are going to add our ears. So there is this little piece on your white icing. Go ahead and take that off. And there is a star tip inside. So I'm just going to unscrew it. And then, oh, sacred star tip, what? So I'm gonna squeeze some out. And then I'm doing poofs for the ears because this star tip is slightly different than what we used for our hair. But I'm gonna let them build up more. So I'm just going to go, I like to do my eyes first so I know where to put my ears. So right behind my ear, and I'm gonna let it build up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, stop and lift. That way they don't look like another part of our hair. They look slightly different and they're bigger and slightly different shapes. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And then I'm going to go to my yellow icing. I'm gonna leave that little piece on and I'm going to make a horn. So to make a horn, I like to make a little circle and then another circle on top of it and another one on top of it and then one more little poof. I need a unicorn! This is Cupcake. She's my new best friend. But there we go. So that is Cupcake number four. We're gonna move on to Cupcake number five. So go ahead and finish out your other unicorn. And we are going to make a poop emoji. Because you think we're gonna have an emoji kit without having some poop emoji in here. We're gonna do our poop next. So go ahead and finish your other unicorn and then we'll be ready to make some poop. That is not really poop. <laughs> so you're gonna take your chocolate icing and then there's a little piece on here. Take it off. And then we are going to just squeeze a swirly. So we got a circle, and then I'm going to do another circle. You can leave it like that if you want, but I'm gonna go one more time just for a little bit more height, and then the rest of the chocolate is for your other poop. I'll get that later. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I mean, it is, I feel like it's already, it's already working. <laughs> So now we need to add our eyes and our mouth. So I'm actually gonna start with my eyes. So inside your little bag of fun, you have these weird white balls. So these are perlets, uh, which are basically sixlets. And if you're still just like, I don't, what? They, which is fine, I understand. They are basically fancy round m &Ms, so they're chocolate balls. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those open. and take out two. And I'm gonna put them close to the top so I have more room to add my mouth. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back to my black icing. And I'm going to add pupils to the center of the chocolate ball, so just little black dots or ovals, your choice. It's already adorable. I really want to draw a smiley face with a tongue sticking out, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to make the poop emoji, but that is an option. This one just looks like it would be like. <laughs> so to make the mouth, it's, it's actually just like the sunglasses. I'm going to draw a line. Oh, it's hard to see because they're both dark. 
And then I'm going to draw a rainbow connecting my lines. And then I'm going to fill it in. And then the last little bit is I am going to go back to my white icing and I'm going to put that little cap back on it. And this is just going to be the teeth, so right at the top of my line, I'm going to add a line of white icing. And I'm going to move this little bit with my finger very lightly. And there we go. It's really like, I, uh, ah. <laughs> you have a book emoji. <laughs> I love him. I love him. He's great. <laughs> so go ahead and make your second poof, or your second poof, your second poop. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Make your second poop cupcake. And then we're gonna finish off with our final emoji cupcake, which is the cupcake emoji. The <laughs> doll. So go ahead and finish that and then come back and I will show you how to make the cupcake emoji. Okay, so for our final cupcake, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be great. We're gonna take our white icing and then I'm gonna take that little little cap off because I like the I like the poofy star for this one. And then we're gonna create some layers. So I'm gonna start on the edge draw a circle around the edge. It's kind of like our poop, but much larger scale. And then I'm going to fill it in. Now I like to fill it in with rings, but if you want to go boop, 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 totally fine too, because we're going to create height. So instead of the edge, so see how there are lines? We're going to go to the second line. So I'm not on the edge. I'm a little bit more in and I'm going to Make another circle, and then we're gonna fill it in. And now on the line we just did, we're gonna move a little bit more in, make a circle, and then give it a good swirl to top. Yes! And then the final step for our cupcake is those rainbow sprinkles. Add however many you like to it. I'm, I'm a fan of color. So I am all about the rainbow sprinkle life on everything and just give me all the rainbow sprinkles. But you can just do a little bit and sprinkle them on if you want. I'm gonna shake them around a bit and then I'm gonna get this side. Yes. Boop, boop, boop. And then I don't like that I don't have sprinkles right here. So if that's happening to you, because we've got a layer situation going on, just pick some up and just stick them on where you want. And I'm gonna use the ones that actually fell on the table so I can, you know, use as much sprinkles as I can. This one needs a blue one here, and a blue one here, and a green one, and a pink one, and a white one, and another green one. And now, finish it off with a yellow one. Ta-da! That's it, you guys, that was it. That's our emoji cupcake cupcake. <laughs> and that's it, you guys. That is the emoji cupcake kit. Look how stinking cute they are. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a good time and enjoy your beautiful creations. Enjoy eating them. That's like the next best part. And then if you would like to see what other stuff we have, you can check out our website, which is mymakestudio.com. We have gingerbread houses. We have some cake kits. We've got other cupcakes. We're constantly adding and taking away things. Like, so it's always changing. So it's a good place to check out. And then if you just want to see what we're up to on a regular basis, because we're Denver-based if you didn't know, so hey! Uh, you can check out our Facebook, which is My Make Studio, or our Instagram, which is at My Make Studio. We also advertise when kits are going on sale or when new ones are coming on both of those places. So they're good places to hang out. 
And then if you would like to send us your lovely creations, you can send them to our Facebook, our Instagram, or you can tag us with hashtag MyMakeStudioKits. But thank you so much, you guys, for joining me today. I really do hope you had a fun and awesome time, and I hope that